2015 now, two astronauts who have been stuck in space for nine months will finally be able to return home this week. The SpaceX Crew 10 capsule docked with the International Space Station this weekend. Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore will use that to return back to Earth. The two were supposed to be in space for just about 10 days, but issues with the rocket that was supposed to bring them home extended their mission. Crew 10 has had a great journey up here, about 28 hours to uh, get back up to the space station. And I cannot tell you the immense joy on the, uh, of our crew when we looked out the window and we saw the space station for the first time. Uh, returning for a couple of people, very first time for a couple of people. Um, and let me tell you, that is such an amazing journey. Uh, you can hardly even put it into words. Uh, the ride up on the Falcon 9, uh, orbiting the Earth for the last couple of days, it's been absolutely incredible. Weather permitting, Wilmore, Williams, and two other astronauts will return to Florida's coast by Wednesday. Marissa Parra takes a closer look at the space swap taking place. Vehicle supersonic. A 28-hour journey through space and a reunion months in the making. 254 miles above Earth, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams and the rest of Crew 9 hugged their relief. It comes after a picture-perfect launch Friday night from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. SpaceX Crew 10 climbing through the skies above a Falcon 9 rocket. We wish you well on your journey and give Crew 9 our best. Traveling at over 17,000 miles per hour to the ISS, a Japanese astronaut, a Russian cosmonaut, and two NASA astronauts, including Commander Anne McLean. Well, we're from different parts of the world. We are brought together in this bold endeavor, and we re represent all of humanity. Among those waiting for them, Butch and Sonny. The two test pilots for Boeing Starliner, whose mission aboard the ISS turned from 10 days to over nine months. Their ride home with Crew 9 docked at the ISS in September. Initial contact. But their return the pending this station. moment just after midnight. The outgoing crew proving zero gravity doesn't mean zero humor. Greeting their replacements with laughs and smiles. And, and I cannot tell you the immense joy on the, uh, of our crew when we looked out the window and we saw the space station for the first time. And after nine long months, Butch, Sonny, and the rest of Crew 9, one step closer to their return to Earth. It was a, a wonderful day. Great to see our friends arrive. So thank you so much. Marissa Parra, NBC News. I put in, in our terms, and I think about it in big, you know, news event coverage. We sometimes are on the air for hours at a time, and, yes. we, and we wait for our relief anchors to come in, and, and, right. and that's usually a couple of hours. They've been waiting nine months for their <laughs> relief. Ten go. days extended to nine months. Like, that's just hard to even fathom. That's, that's, a, that's a long time for uh, to be waiting for some relief. And they've been upbeat about it, so hopefully yeah, they will get home. Kudos to them soon. and their families. That's right.